Hello everyone and welcome to Erpeg Academy Chapter 1 Lesson 5B. My name is Maria and in this tutorial I will be defining different user types within Erpeg. So let me just switch to the screen and show you how to create them. Once you are logged in into your ERPEG, just go into Administration and Users. Please do note that you are only able to create new users if you are on paid version. If you are still on a trial or a demo, you won't be able to add new users within the system. There are five different user types within ERPEG and I will go explaining from the least complicated to the most complicated ones. So the least complicated, of course, is the uh, admin. Admin has access to everything uh, within the system at all times, and just there is zero limitations for them. The second user type is the point of sale. The point of sale users will only have access to the point of sale module within ERPEG with the general limitations such as whether he can create the new user, create the customer uh, return document, edit the purchase price or which warehouse it has access to within the ERPEG system. The next user type that we have is mobile device. The mobile device user is needed for accessing the mobile application, which is supported both on iOS and Android platform. When it comes to this uh, user, it can be limited whether he can perform specific actions uh, within the applications, such as whether he can uh, receive or pack the transfer document, load the material or deliver the finished goods within the uh, manufacturing module, and of course whether he can see specific documents, such as uh, sales orders, transfers or the purchasing. Uh, and just like all the previous users, uh, even uh, the mobile device user has uh, limitations when it comes to uh, warehouse and storage location. The next user type is the customer portal. This user will access your B2B portal that we have implemented within ERPEG. Uh, you can limit this user to whether he will be able to see his placed sales orders, whether he will be able to access your inventory stock list. You will also choose whether you want him to see the quantity of the product or just the product list, whether he will be able to see your kits, your uh, custom products, your non-inventory products, services um, and others, and of course uh, warehouse permissions and and storage locations. The last uh, user type and the most complicated one is the operator. As you can see from this list of the user authorization, uh, operator has the most possibility of being uh, limited. Do you want uh, to restrict your operator from seeing sales? Check. Do you want him to be forbidden to see the inventory, check. Purchasing, also check. Manufacturing, check. So you can even restrict him to see different parts of the one module. For example, you can lock him out from reports or the sales order list or the purchase order list or even just the whole business year. It also has different uh, limitations when it comes to performing certain document actions. For example, you can limit him to download documents, print the documents, edit documents from a different user. Each user role that we already explained can be restricted as either full access, uh, read only, or to have completely denied access. So that's it, you guys, for this video tutorial on how to create different user types within ERPEG system. It's just a quick overall video, but in the future, we will have more videos explaining each user role more in depth and, of course, each limitation individually. So for that, stay tuned. Until then, take care and goodbye.